Hello all Chancellor Science Scholar finalists and welcome to your selection weekend, interview weekend. Uh, my name is Todd Ostell. I'm actually a professor in the Department of Chemistry at UNC and uh, looking forward to potentially having many of you in class at some point when you get here. But I wanted to share a little bit about my department because uh, I know many of you are interested in, in chemistry perhaps uh, as a STEM major. We have many great STEM majors. But uh, I am a professor in the chemistry department. Also, I'm a former undergrad and grad student here. I'm from Shelby, North Carolina in the western part of the state. So I've been around here a while and been 21 years as a professor and want to introduce you to chemistry. Uh, my role in the chemistry department is basically, um, I'm a professor as I already mentioned, but I also serve as an associate director of undergraduate studies, which makes a lot of decisions as far as undergraduate classes going. I also, also work as a general college advisor um, for all science majors on campus. So you'll definitely potentially see me in that venue when you come to, if you come to UNC. Hey guys, my name is Alexis Glodden. I'm from York, Pennsylvania, and I am a senior at UNC. Hello, my name is Dalal Azam and I'm a junior here at UNC. I am from Cary, North Carolina and I'm a chemistry major uh, focusing on the biochemistry track. Uh, our department is big. Chemistry is one of the bigger departments on campus. This is not even all our faculty. We have between 50 and 60 faculty members, uh, which puts us probably the top three or four biggest science departments on campus. We are spread across five or six buildings, depending on how you count it. So we are in a lot of buildings, taking up a big footprint. We actually uh, raise among the top one or two uh, amounts of research dollars of any uh, undergraduate STEM department on campus that also has a graduate program. When I first arrived at UNC, I knew that I really liked chemistry, but I didn't know what particular area of chemistry excited me the most. I did know that my experience at UNC would help me figure it out. Uh, as far as our degree options, we have both a BA and three BSs, or a bachelor, BA stands for Bachelor of the Arts. If you're in any STEM department, usually you'll have a BA option. It's uh, a little bit less intense on the science courses and uh, usually have a few more non-science courses that you take, but gives you more flexibility as far as being able to do multiple majors. Then we have three Bachelor of Science degrees. Uh, Bachelor of Science degrees are usually a little less flexible than the BA. They are more science intensive with more science courses. For instance, our BS in Chemistry, to give you a difference between the BS and BA, BS Chemistry requires four semesters of calculus and two calculus-based physics. The BA, on the other hand, only requires two physics, not calculus-based, and only two calculus courses. And there's some lesser chemistry courses for the BA also. Uh, we, as I mentioned, we have three BS tracks. One Bachelor of Science track is a conventional BS. That's actually what I got my degree in. We also have a BS degree called the BS Chemistry Biochem track. It's not a biochem degree. It's a concentration in biochemistry with your BS in chemistry. That's our most popular BS track right now because we have so many pre-health science, pre-med, pre-dent, and other types of majors like that, people that want to use their degree for that. Uh, we also have a polymer track. Polymer track is a materials track, think plastics, and it is another one of our BS. It's the smallest of our four degree options, but it is also a great option. When you're a first year student, I know as CSS majors, you'll, you'll choose one of the BSs, but you do not have to know which one as a first year student. I can advise you more about that or our other two faculty advisors can help with that also. I chose the general chemistry track because it offers a lot of chemistry elective courses that expose you to different areas of chemistry. The first half of the chemistry major is very structured. It includes classes that must be taken in a specific order. This makes it easier for you to determine what classes to take and when during your first and second years. Also, the UNC advisors, the CSS advisors, and your CSS mentor are very good at making sure that you are taking classes at the right pace. The second half of the chemistry major is more flexible. The upper level chemistry classes that I took and are taking during my junior and senior years are some of my favorites because it allows me to take a really deep dive into a particular discipline of chemistry like quantum chemistry, surface science, and analytical me methods. One of the most interesting classes that I've taken at UNC uh, is inorganic chemistry. Uh, in this class, we got to learn a lot about um, chemical structures, orbital theory, and kind of connecting those two concepts and applying them into everyday life. We got to learn about how they apply into medicine, pharmacy, manufacturing, 
uh, and just everyday items. So it was really cool to be able to kind of learn about the behind the scenes chemistry of everyday life. And I really got to apply a lot of the knowledge uh, that I learned from that class into just research and, and everyday things. The chemistry major at UNC also allows you to do high quality research. There is active research going in on in our department in analytical, which is what my PhD is in, biological chemistry, inorganic, materials chemistry, organic chemistry, and physical chemistry. And we highly encourage our undergrads, once they get here, to get involved in a research lab, work for professor for one, two, or more semesters. Some of them work four, five, six, seven semesters, depending on when they start. You can do up to three semesters of research that count towards college credit. During my college career, I have worked in three different chemistry labs. Currently, I am working in an organic chemistry lab that designs potential new opioid um, drugs that are non-addictive, and a physical chemistry lab that characterizes new materials that have applications to novel technologies. And that's the way you really figure out if you want to be in a STEM field when you graduate, perhaps go to grad school or something like that. But there's many incredible labs you can work in in our department. And even you can even find STEM departments outside of our department, even as a chem major, and find chemistry related projects in places like the med school, the dental school, pharmacy, physics, uh, public health, and uh, actually do your chemistry research in those labs, even though they're not technically for a chemistry professor. Over the past three years, I have been able to do research with the McGinty Lab. The McGinty Lab is a biochemistry and biophysics lab that focuses on characterizing and kind of imaging and, and solving the structures for different proteins involved in the cell cycle. So specifically, I have been working with a protein called VRK1. And VRK1 is a protein that is seen in really high levels in tumors. And so through my research, I'm working to understand how VRK1 is typically uh, inhibited in normal cells and kind of restricted and understanding how that mechanism of inhibition goes wrong in tumor cells. And I do this by using a lot of different techniques that come from a broad array of different chemistry topics. So analytical chemistry, biochemistry, um, inorganic chemistry as well, and just piecing all these things together to learn more about the protein-protein interactions that are really important for the cell. A very popular thing that our majors like to do is a lot of people think when you're a science major at a big university, you just don't have time to study abroad. Uh, I would uh, disagree with that because of what I've seen in our students. We have a large number of our students probably every year, 10 to 20 to 30 of them or more, maybe 30 to 50 of them each year study abroad somewhere. And that could be a full, some, a full year abroad at another school. We actually have a program called TACIP which stands for Transatlantic Science Student Enrichment Program, where we've designated, I don't know, probably 10 or 20 schools in, the, in Europe and the UK where you can go there and we know what courses will transfer from there. And so you can continue in your major and continue to take productive courses while getting the, the international study abroad experience. We also have some short-term study abroads, which I've listed here in the last four bullets. Uh, we have, of course, we teach usually organic chemistry every summer in Sevilla, Spain for six weeks. You the cool thing about these last four bullets is you take a course from a UNC professor who goes with you. Here's actually the Sevilla Spain group from a few years back. And that's Professor Wei Yu right there, who's now our chair. He was teaching organic chemistry in Spain. We also teach biochemistry and sometimes organic chemistry in Grenoble, France. We teach analytical chemistry in Lund, Sweden and we teach organic chemistry in Dublin, Ireland. And these are six week summer programs where a UNC faculty member goes with you and teaches you, uh, it's basically as part of the experience. You usually do take one additional course in the culture of that country from a professor at the school that you're visiting in that country. But this is a wonderful experience for a short term study abroad. One thing that I love about being a chemistry major is being able to take a lot of different classes with a lot of different STEM departments on campus. So being a chemistry major, you don't only get to take classes with the chemistry department, but you also get to take classes in biology, physics, math, etc. And so I think that this really exposes you to a lot of different concepts. You gain a lot of skills by being able to take to like take these classes and think critically about the different concepts that you're learning. And I think that these skills really prepare you for any type of STEM career that you may lead. Um, and it's really easy to be able to apply this knowledge into 
whatever type of field that you're interested in. Uh, we have around 700 undergraduate majors right now. Now that might sound like a big number, but that's about number three or number four in terms of the biggest majors. Our majors do a variety of things. They go to medical school, graduate school, pharmacy school, dental school, law school, business school, and into the workforce. My research experience has helped me get into um, many different chemistry PhD programs, such as those at Northwestern and the University of Southern California. Uh, after undergrad, I plan on pursuing a PhD. After doing research in the McGinty lab for so long, I have noticed that I really like this, this field of research. And so I plan on um, pursuing a PhD in biochemistry, biophysics, molecular biology, something along those lines. And all those fields fit into the type of research that I currently do. And uh, I really wanna learn more about uh, different proteins in the cell cycle and connecting them back to cancer research. And there's tons of things you can do with a chemistry degree. I actually went into the workforce for pharmaceutical industry for one year before I came back to, to uh, grad school here. Um, so just elaborating on that, we do have, you know, not just uh, researchers in labs. Uh, we have people going and become teachers. We have a, a former major that's now working on Wall Street to help a, a hedge fund company pick pharmaceutical companies to invest in. We have science writers, health professions already mentioned. We have a lot of entrepreneurs that come in and out of our department. Many of my faculty colleagues have started their own company, so you can learn about that when you get here. And then some going to be faculty like me at other, at other universities. UNC and the Chancellor Science Scholars have prepared me immensely to start a PhD program in chemistry and eventually start a career in the tech industry designing new uh, materials for quantum technology. I'm high on our chemistry degree. When I was an undergrad, I majored in math and then physics and then biology pre-med and ended up chemistry. But I liked all of those different degrees, but I love the chemistry department and what we do for our majors in this department. So I'm happy to answer any questions. If you, if you think of any questions offline, you want to send me by email. There's my email address, tlostel at unc.edu. And I know I will see you when you get here because I work as a STEM advisor for summer orientation. You probably hear me speak there. And I teach a lot of chemistry courses, which you may be taking. So once again, welcome to UNC. I look forward to helping you when you get here and uh, have a great weekend.